Hey guys, Dedeby Figure Man 21 back here with another video today, guys. And today, guys, I'm doing a video of my whole experience of Raw uh, when I went there this past Monday. Like, this is like will be like my review. So, uh, the stuff I didn't show in the, the the vlog yesterday, I posted yesterday on YouTube. Um, I did take a train. I went there. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, like I said I did buy the only pop. I the only thing I got was the Finn Balor pop. And, um, the matches and things that happened were Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns stuff happening, which was really good to start off the show. Um, the women's match between Alexa Bliss and Asuka was pretty good. Uh, weird ending, but it was worth it because Nia Jax came out there. Then it was the Revival taking on, uh, Titus Worldwide. And a really boring match, and the revival won. And the revival is the new members to enter the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match this year at WrestleMania. Then we had Braun Strowman uh, beating up Cesaro and Sheamus in a, in a singles match, which I really didn't care, which was pretty good. Strowman, like, cool seeing Strowman. Then it was uh, Kane and John Cena. John Cena came out there talking about The Undertaker, how he's scared. And oh, and came Kane, Kane came out there, and next week it'll be Kane versus John Cena. Hopefully, on Taker's next year, next week is coming, coming next week. Maybe not. I don't know. Then we had a uh, terrible mat, uh, women's tag match between the Bailey and Sasha between uh, Absolution, which Absolution won, which was pretty good, I guess. Um, then we had. Uh, we had Finn Balor taking on Seth, Finn Balor in the club, taking on the Miz Taraj in a great match. Seth Rollins coming out there to save him, which was pretty good. Then we had Ronda Rousey coming out there at the American Airlines Center, beating up Dana Brooke, which was pretty funny. Then the dark match was supposed to be an eight-man tag match, but then Roman got injured and Cena got hurt, and yeah. And so they had to replace it with Elias versus Braun Strowman, which was okay. Then Kane came out there to do some type of st stuff. I don't know; it was over the place. But I thought it was good. I didn't think it was. A I think this was a really good Raw show. I still think um, WWE Live was still better uh, because you had more superstars featured. I mean, this had a lot of superstars featured. Like the first time I saw Brock Lesnar live, I saw. I saw Kane first time live. I seen Bray Wyatt. I didn't see Bray Wyatt on the show. It's the first time I saw um, around a Rousey, more women's wrestlers, especially Asuka. Yeah, it wasn't a bad Raw. I thought it was really good. It wasn't too bad. And uh, and like I said in the vlog, in my Raw vlog part part two yesterday. I am going to WB Live in Arlington June 3rd, and uh, I have tickets that's just somewhere. And um, yeah, I'm going to be going with uh, three people my grandparents and my mom. Because, you know, uh, we're big wrestling fans. I'm, ex I'm excited for it too. And it's a SmackDown House show, so it's my first SmackDown show. So I've already been to two Raw, Raw shows a Raw House show and a Raw event. And this um, and then this third, fourth, my, this is my fourth wrestling event, guys. Because in 2016, I went to WrestleMania 32 Access before I made this channel. And then, uh, you know, October 6, 2007. Okay. WrestleMania 32 Access, when I went there, was April first, was April 2nd, 2016. Then in 2017, last year, I went to WWE Live in Arlington at the College Park Center on October 6, 2017. Pretty good event. And then, uh, and then... This past Monday, I went to WWE Monday Night Raw at the American Airlines Center in Dallas. Um, I think it was March 19, 2018. And then now, uh, June 3rd, at WWE Live at the college, returns to the College Park Center in Arlington for the SmackDown House show. Hopefully, it'll be good. I hope I don't see that much bad superstars. I hope you'll see, like, Shinsuke. I heard AJ's not featured for this event because he might be going to Raw. Which, you know, it's obvious because he's going to be giving the title to Shinsuke. And Shinsuke is, is, is going to be in it. Ziggler, Nia, uh, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Yeah, but I think it might be a good show for the SmackDown House show. I've never been in SmackDown shows. I heard reviews that SmackDown House shows are really, really good. 
and they are really active with the fans. But yeah. Anyways, guys, WWE Figure Me 21 out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for WWE Figure Me 21 show episode 10, 10, 10, season 3. Because we have five more episodes until season 3 ends. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, because there will be a Figure Me 21 show. Last week there wasn't, but this this week will be. And um, I think the season, the season finale will be either in April or May. And I was correct that WWE Figure Me 21 show season 3 will be up and hold until WrestleMania, maybe after WrestleMania, a little bit after WrestleMania, but yeah, anyways, WWE Figure 21 out, and I'll see you guys for WWE Figure 21 show season 3 episode 10, bye guys, see the outro.